So welcome to another session of the ATU Library Tutorial Series. And um, for some couple of weeks now, we've been talking about ChatGPT, this powerful AI tool. Uh, we know that a lot of students actually do use this ChatGPT to do the assignment, um, a whole bunch of things. So actually, this tutorial is going to cover um, whether Tennyson is able to come out with uh, or to detect whether you use this AI tool to um to do your assignment or detect all some of these things like what we are saying plagiarism so we already know um the purpose of uh tenetine, actually what the software does what the software is to scan through your document to check whether you've lifted some somebody's work and then give you some percentage um the amount of work that you lifted from that person however um tenetine has introduced a particular tool uh in the software that is um AI. So the moment you use any um, AI text software that generate text for you, um, Tenetine will actually uh, give a percentage um, of the amount of words that was generated by the by that AI tool. So we want to see how this actually uh, works. That is what our tutorial is going to focus on. Now, uh, this tutorial is coming from the Accra Tech University Library or ATU Library. All right. So let's start with something. So I'm going to generate some text using the chat GPT. Then I'll copy, I'll copy the text uh, from the AI tool, that is the chat GPT. I'll paste it into the web file, then save the web file, then use a uh, Tenetine to run uh, or use Tenetine to check that particular web file, which contains the document that I generated from chat GPT. Okay, so... What we have now is um, actually I have already generated some text. Uh, I have already generated some text from chat GPT. So this is what I did. So let me say, let me copy this again. Say control C. So I did something like this, let's see. So I'm asking chat GPT to give me thousand words on the concept of motivation. So chat GPT starts to generate the content for me. Now, once the content is generated, um, I'll copy this content and push it into my web file. However, I've generated the first one already, so I can go by this one. So this is the first content that I generated from chat GPT. So I copied everything, like what some student will be doing. Yes. Um, so once the information is there, um, actually they won't sit down and do the research, because uh, in academics, you are supposed to do research. But using this AI tool to generate your content, um, trust me, let's see how Tenetine works around these things. So I copied all the information over here. Then I open a word file. So this is the word file. So that's what you see over here. So motivation, everything. Uh, I've not changed anything over here. I copied it directly from the application. That is the chat GPT. All right, so I saved it and I named it motivation from chat GPT on my desktop. So yeah, so that is the file name. So I have, um, so I call it motivation for Tenity actually. All right, so then um, I moved to my Tenity application. So, So I have, this is my Tenetine application. So let's say we move to home. So we submit the file to see whether, so we are saying that uh, our file name, let's say motivation. We have motivation. Uh, let's say motivation chat GPT. All right. So next up, we have motivation. So, all right. So motivation for ten eighteen. Upload my files. All right, so 
this will just take some time. All right, so you confirm this. So go to assignment inbox. All right, so um, we are waiting for Tenetine to come out with the results. So we just have to refresh it. All right, I think it's ready. So let me filter the date out. All right, so I do have motivation. So motivation chat GPT is showing 46%. Let me click on it. So Tenetine is generating the reports. So that's the AI running to detect whether, oh, that is it perfectly. You realize that uh, 13 is able to detect. So you realize that I have 100% um, score over here, meaning that I, I copied everything. Yes, I use the AI or I use a particular AI tool to generate this particular content. So that is how 13 is able to detect um, the extent uh, at which you use a particular AI tool to generate content for any assignment given to you, whether you are doing research or everything. All right. So in our next tutorial, we'll be going, um, the report that you see over right here, that's the 46%, uh, we will go deeper into that. So this tutorial basically covers um, Tenetine and uh, ChatGPT or using any AI uh, application to generate content for your work. All right. Thank you for watching this tutorial from the ATV library. Always remember to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.